Having the ability to play a knockdown shot is important in any round of golf. Whether you're trying to hit the ball under the wind, perhaps underneath a tree or other obstacle, it's very important to be able to flight your iron and wedge shots. And when looking at the professional golf scene, there's one golfer who really sets himself apart as one of the best at hitting those lower trajectory golf shots, and that is Tommy Fleetwood. So let's talk about three things that Tommy Fleetwood does in order to knock down his golf shots and how you can take those tips and implement them into your own golf swing to be able to turn to these flighted shots more often. Now let's start off by quickly addressing the setup. If you want to hit the ball low, you're going to want to have a little bit more weight on that front foot. You can see in a lot of these videos right before the transitionary move, you can kind of see a, a, a shift to the left side. Having Tommy Fleetwood's knee, look at that left knee, kind of move towards the ball a little bit more or towards a target a little bit more, that's just a way of promoting that weight shift and making sure that through the ball, you're getting a lot of weight onto that left side for right-handed golfer. Aside from that, we also want to be having that ball slightly back in our stance as, um, you know, if you have a normal seven iron, which is about the middle of your stance, and you want to hit a flighted seven iron, I would recommend uh, putting that ball, maybe a ball, ball and a half further back in the stance. That's just going to help you inherently get a little bit of a lower trajectory just in terms of what you can do before you swing the golf club. Now let's talk a little bit about the move that we're going to be doing through transition. In order to hit a lower golf shot, you need to take some loft off of your club. That's what's just going to naturally have the ball fly off the club face a little bit lower. One of, if not the most effective ways to do that is by de-lofting your club by having that shaft lean forward at address. So if you have your standard seven iron and it's in your hands, and you're a, you're a right-handed golfer, try putting those hands and having them open up a little bit to your left side. Push those hands forward, get that shaft closer to your left leg at impact, and that will naturally just bring the loft of your club down so that you don't have to do a ton of the work because the loft of the club is already a little bit lower. Now, there are two ways to go about this. Some golfers like to really start with their hands forward in the, uh, in the address position. When you stand over the ball, just put those hands a little bit forward. Other golfers like to stand to it fairly normal, have that ball a little bit back in the stance, and at impact through the golf swing, they like to feel their chest kind of opening up and letting those hands get out ahead of the ball. You can do it either way. If, if you're unfamiliar with the feeling of both, I would try and, and spend some time experimenting with both. For me personally, I don't really like to do it at address. It makes my takeaway feel a little bit odd. I just really like to exaggerate it through that impact positioning. With someone like Tommy Fleetwood, we really don't see him bring those hands too far forward in this setup position. It just comes through the ball at impact. So try both ways, but no matter how or when you do it, know that that shaft has to be forward in order to de-loft your club. Now the final note that is very, very important to being able to hit those flighted golf shots is to shorten up that golf swing, especially through transition, no one is better at this than Tommy Fleetwood. Even on his more full iron shots, you can always see him abbreviate that follow through. You think of someone like Roy McIlroy, especially with driver, how full that backswing is, how far those arms come around his body. That's not what we want. We want the exact opposite of that for knocking down some golf shots with iron. So it's very important to shorten up the golf swing and not decelerate. When a lot of amateur golfers think about taking a few yards off of a shot or hitting a shot a little bit lower, their instinct is to swing a little bit slower, to decelerate through the ball. That is never the right option. We want, to, we want the swing rhythm, we want the swing tempo to be the same throughout all aspects of the golf bag. So if we're not going to change the speed at which we swing through the ball, what we need to be doing is just shortening up the length of the golf swing. That's the most effective way not only to control our distance, but also control our trajectory, especially when taking the ball a little bit lower down. So now if you're thinking about hitting knockdown shots, think of Tommy Fleetwood's action. And remember, at address, have that ball a little bit back in the stance. Through the ball, we need that shaft to be forward to de-loft the club face, get a little bit of that lower trajectory, and always shorten up that golf swing. Do not decelerate through the ball. Accelerate even more if you want to, if that's a good swing reminder for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. We read and reply to all comments on these videos. As always, I thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.